Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, advanced trailer title animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. The store is back, now you can download, all my free and premium templates, the link is given in the description. Now, here you can see I have already imported the texture image file and pre-rendered background video file, you can download them for free, from below link in the description. If you want to know how to create this background video file, then let me know in the comments section, I will create a separate tutorial for it. So without any wait let's start creating our trailer title. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as trailer title. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per seconds. Now set time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here you can add any text you want. Here I am using Era's bold font family. Now let's align the text to the center. Now we need to change the stroke color for our text, let's set the stroke color to white. Now let's change the fill color to black. Now let's change stroke width to near about 15. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose our text. Name it as text. Now add provided texture image file to timeline. Place it below the text composition. Now for texture image file. Change track mat to. Luma mat text. Now again add text composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset. Search for invert. Add it to text composition. Now add texture image file to timeline. Place it below text composition. Now for texture image, change track mat to, luma mat text. Now select below texture file and text composition, now pre-compose them. Name it as texture 1. Now select texture file and text composition, now pre-compose them. Name it as Texture 2. Now for Texture 1 composition. Go to Layer Style. Now select Satin. Now for Satin. Change Distance Value to 2. Now change Size Value to 4. Now from layer style, select color overlay. Now for color overlay, let's change blend mode to overlay. Now change color as shown. Now from layer style, select bevel and emboss. Now for Texture 2 Composition. Go to Layer Style. And now select Color Overlay. Now for Color Overlay. Let's change Blend Mode to Overlay. Now change Color as shown. Now 
Go to layer style. Now select satin. Now for satin, change invert to off. Now from layer style, select bevel and emboss. Now from layer style, select inner glow. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for levels. Now add levels to the adjustment layer. Now for levels, adjust the input black value to near about 68. Now adjust the input white value to near about 222. Perfect. Now for texture 1 composition. In effects and preset search for circle. Add it to texture 1 composition. Now for circle, adjust the center as shown. Now change feather outer edge to 72. Now change blending mode to overlay. Now again add the circle to texture 1 composition. Now for circle, adjust the center as shown. Now change feather outer edge to 72. Now change blending mode to overlay. Now do the same for texture 2 composition. Add the circle to texture 2 composition. Now for circle, adjust the center as shown. Now change feather outer edge to 72. Now change blending mode to overlay. Now again add the circle to texture 2 composition. Now for circle, adjust the center as shown. Now change feather outer edge to 72. Now change blending mode to overlay. Perfect. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as text effect. Perfect. Now change the text effect composition to 3D. Now add the provided background video file to the timeline. Place it below the text effect composition. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and presets search for the ramp. Now add ramp to the adjustment layer. Now for the ramp, change the start and end color as shown. Perfect. Now for adjustment layer. Change mode to overlay. Perfect. Now create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Now parent camera to the null object. Now change null object to 3D. Now for the null object, press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for position. Now change position value for Z axis to near about minus 500.
now at 3 seconds. Change position value for z-axis to near about 86. Now go at the end of the timeline. Change position value for z-axis to near about 2000. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now for text effect composition. At one second. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now create a keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline. Change opacity value to 0%. Now go at 4 seconds. Now create a keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the timeline. Change opacity value to 0%. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our advanced trailer title animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.